I'd give it until the morning. We'll start polling damage first thing in the morning. I think we should hold off on that. I think we need to see how this is going to play out. What? No, I don't think it's going to blow over, but I think it's possible that we can weather this. You Maybe you're right. But we need to stay cool. Think about Owens and the prostitution scandal. That was less than a year ago. This is Louisiana. I think you're doing the right thing. Why? It's over. Look, I can't name anyone who has come back after a resignation and been elected again. You need to think about doing something else with your life. Because my father worked for your father and you thought he was a miracle worker? No. Then I don't have my head up my ass like those other Beltway pricks. You want some free advice? Stay out of the press. Stay out of the press for a long time. Give people time to forgive you. How long are we talking? I don't know. You are in uncharted waters. It's what you'd expect. Speculation about a return to politics, questions about the motives behind your organization. I warned you the press was going to spin it this way. You didn't wait long enough for the dust to settle. At least you haven't commented publicly. I just... Then why do you have a publicist? Not when you're a politician. Me? I'm great. Everything is great. Do you really want to know how I am? Yeah. Well, let's see. My husband and I recently separated. I'm thinking of leaving my job. My kids are a pain in the ass. Other than that, I'm great. You don't want to be burdened by some 37-year-old woman's midlife crisis, believe me. Let's get back to it, shall we? Fuck off. <laughs> Is it terrible that I'm drinking with you? You're not gonna end up... passed out <laughs> naked in some doorway. This will get easier. We said we wouldn't do this. That sounds about right. Who knows? Who cares? Just be thankful. This is a blessing for your foundation and your image. And I know the press have taken their shots, but you were coming off of this a winner. You married quite the chef, huh? No. Who was that? It's really not my place. That's not true. You stand for something. I wish I could. But unfortunately, I have work and... children. <laughs> I'm not divorced yet, Colin. And neither are you. What about your career? Do you have any idea what this would look like? We have already been incredibly reckless. Why are you calling me at all? This isn't a good time. Just call the office tomorrow and we can talk then. We've decided to try and work things out. I'm sorry. But what did you think was going to happen? That I'd campaign with you? That I'd stand up there on that podium by your side? You weren't giving up politics to be with me. And if you did, you would have been miserable. You would have resented me. Maybe not at first, but what about in six months or a year? Oh, Colin, tell me that I'm wrong. Tell me that I'm wrong.